Hi, my name is Gino Kenny TD. Uh, today we're outside Facebook's headquarters in Dublin, uh, and this letter we're going to submit. It's under signed by 57 members of the Oireachtas. Uh, I'll just read one paragraph that uh, that's from the letter. It says, "We are deeply concerned that Facebook adopt a policy of viewing criticism of Zionists, individuals, organisations, or institutes ascribing to the political ideology of Zion, Zion, Zionism as anti-Semitic. It would have the direct." of suppressing political speech on Facebook's platform. I'm here as a representative for Jewish Voice for Just Peace. And we know from our fight against anti-Semitism and from our work as anti-racist activists that Facebook is not really interested in fighting racism. It's not really interested in combating the scourge of anti-Semitism. Far from it. This move to ban criticism of Zionists by saying, by uh, equating Zionism and Jews is in itself an anti-Semitic racist act. It primarily silences Palestinians who want to talk about their oppression, who want to talk about the reasons that they are facing such significant damages in their lives. And it silences them, it forces them not to be able to talk about what's actually going on, but it also silences Jews. It also silences Jews who aren't uh, Zionists, which is a growing, increasing uh, am am amount of Jewish people, not simply in Ireland, but in the world. There are more and more anti-Zionist Jews. And by equating Jews and Zionism, it silences them. It forces them to not be able to say who they are and what they actually believe in. I have on the streets of Dublin been told by a Zionist, by a Christian Zionist, that as a Jew, I don't belong here. As a Jew, I should be in Israel. If I'm criticizing them, then apparently I'm the anti-Semite, not them. This action of Facebook, or this proposed action of Facebook, isn't anti-racist, it's racist. Hi, I'm Shane from Uplift, People Power Change. I'm here today representing thousands of people across Ireland that signed a petition to make sure that Facebook doesn't shut down the voices of Palestinian activists online. They want to use the word Zionist as proxy for Jew and Jewish. That's not going to solve the anti-racism problem online, and it's going to shut down important conversations that need to happen about the state of Israel and the experience of Palestinian people. Hi, my name is John Dorman. I'm the vice chair of the Ireland and Palestine Solidarity Campaign. We must stand together against anti-Semitism. Facebook is seeking to prevent the Palestinians from criticising the ideology of the state, that state that has um, that has oppressed, dispossessed and colonised them for more than 70 years. Palestinians and their global allies will be prevented from uh, criticising the adherence of the ideology of Zionism. That ideology that that kills, maims, and imprisons Palestinians. The ide ideology that it imprisons and tortures Palestinians. The one that also um, dispossesses them of their land, that prevents millions of Palestinians from returning to their home. Those same adherents who also are responsible for committing or perpetrating war crimes and crimes against humanity against the Palestinians. Thank you to everyone that signed the petition. I'm going to hand it into Facebook now. Silence.
obviously in place for So could you just give this thing in? Okay. Could somebody just take this letter? Somebody just take this letter. Okay, well I'll just put it in the door. Okay.